I am so stoked to be talking to John from Lamb of God. John, how are you doing at the minute, man? You all right? I'm doing great, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, good. I'm feeling very good because today you have announced a live stream of two albums in full. The the self-titled happening on September 18th, Ashes of the Wake, which is today, 16 years old as we're doing this chat. Happy birthday to it. Absolutely. Sweet 16, mate. Um, So... Where did the um, where did the idea come from to do albums in full? Because this is, I, I think I'm right in saying you've never done a tour where you've done an album no. in full before or anything like that before, right? No, nothing like it at all. We uh, what uh, what was going on was, you know, this pandemic hit. We put out <laughs> a record and we're sitting on our hands like, God damn, we have this great record we just did, and we can't tour on it. Uh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna how are we gonna do this? And then live streaming came around like. Well, let's do that and let's do the whole record. And if we're going to set up to do that, why don't we do another one? What record should we do? And start like, you know, talking about what record uh, fans uh, we thought would appreciate the most. And that's just the way it was. It. Did you get the bug when you did that quarantine session together? <laughs> because like, I-, I didn't know anything about that mm-hmm. ahead of schedule. My timeline just blew up like Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, no, uh, that was a that was a that was a different experience altogether. It was it was exciting to do, or it, it it was cool to do the quarantine sessions. Believe me, it was nice to actually do something and feel like progressing and actually be productive. But uh, you know, to be able to actually like play on a stage, loud noise, dudes on stage with you, uh, different experience. So, what do you know where you are going to be shooting this? Because at the moment we've got behemoth doing things in a church um we just don't had that big trivium uh one as well like what's the lamb of god stream experience gonna be like uh well let me say it's not that it's not too far outside of the box but i don't want to give away too much and uh you know i don't want anyone to come interrupt any plans we may be having i gotcha all right so um is it doing the self-titled in full does that speak volumes about how you feel about the new Lamb of God record because it is fucking blistering from top to bottom. I hadn't thought of it from that pers- from that perspective, but uh, yeah, maybe it is. I mean, I, I absolutely love the record. I still listen to it, which is rare for our records. Once they get released, a lot of times it's kind of like, okay, go do your thing, have your life, do what you're going to do. But this record, like I'm actually listening to this record. I really dig it. And part of this new rhythm section, yourself and Art Cruz, um, like I had Art on the show just before the record dropped and like his energy, his vibrancy, (laughs) like I I love it. As someone that's enthusiastic about all things heavy metal as well, like getting him and like bouncing that enthusiasm off of, what is it like being in a band (laughs) with someone and especially with yourself, with the rhythm section being such a cornerstone of Lamb of God? Um, what's it been like? It's been amazing to have Art uh, come into the band. He is enthusiastic. He is energized and motivated. And it kind of helps us to, it, it kind of freshens things up for everybody, I think. A lot of times these experiences that he's having with us is the first time he's done some of these things. And for us, it's like, oh, yeah, I guess this is pretty cool. Like, we should be maybe a little more uh, appreciative of these little things. Uh, but as far as the playing, it's been amazing. Like, he's, he's got a great feel um he's been playing drums listening to lamb of god as a main inspiration for many years so he's got the he's got the basics down but he is his own unique player and he's got nice little tasty uh little tasty fills and tricks and uh it's it's a pleasure playing with him I loved talking to Mark and him saying about when you were writing the record, he was referencing things in your own songs that you had <laughs> forgotten about. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that that is true. I hadn't I hadn't read that interview, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it was it was nice because he, being a fan of the band, and you know, we kind of had he kind of spoke for the fans in some instances uh, about what what he appreciated as a fan from the band, as opposed to our perspective of being. These dudes who have been, you know, putting these things out from the other side of the fishbowl. And so Ashes of the Wake was the album that you chose because uh, I personally speaking, there's several of those records that you could have picked and my reaction would have been like, ah, but, <laughs> but Ashes of the Wake, what is it about that? You mentioned that you picked it because you thought it was the one that the fans would appreciate the most. What is the magic of Ashes of the Wake particularly in your back catalogue? <laughs> 
Uh, that, uh, hmm. I don't know if I can put my finger on it. I can say that that was the first time that we were, uh, we used a producer in the sense that we trusted someone's thoughts and opinions on things that we were trying to decide. And that was machine. And he kind of also changed the process, uh, in how we created these records. Um, that may have had something to do with the magic, but I think also, you know, it was the times it was, uh, a very, uh, very heavy political record during some heavy political times where a lot of people's lives were being meaning meaninglessly ended. Mm. Uh, so I think at the time there was some magic in it because it was timely and we were very passionate about what, what we were doing and saying, uh, the the record may be somewhat appropriate for these times, unfortunately. I was just going to say that. It's kind of depressing that 16 years later, the more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> yeah, well, when George Bush was elected for a second term, it was at that point that I realized, wow, sometimes the good guys totally lose on important stuff, which prepared mm. me for 2016 when uh big old orange turd dropped on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, fingers crossed 2020 is a little better. Um, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> so um, I, I would dare to point out as well that there were a lot of people whose discovery of Lamb of God was on Ashes of the Wake as well. Like, I, I was I was lucky. Like, I reviewed as the palaces burn for Metal Hammer like in the UK, uh, when it was back in the day when CDs were imports. Um, yeah, right, when, that, right. when that arrived and was literally like I'd never heard your band before, before put it in the CD player and push play, it was a wow. real fucking a real fucking moment. And I think that there's everyone has that with like remembers the first time that they hear bands that mean something to them. Sure, do you sure. think do you think that with you know, laid to rest and now you've got something to die for and all these the, these things that came steaming out of the traps at that time. What what do you remember of touring that record and taking <laughs> that record on the road for the first time? 16 years? You want me to filter through 16 years of tours <laughs> to try and remember those tours? <laughs> uh, well, that was uh, that would have been Ozfest or it might have been Slipknot. We, we did a... I always mess up the yeah, year yeah. we did we did Ozfest one summer and then uh tour with slipknot the next summer um but it was exciting man we were you know we're up and coming we we had these records that like people like yourselves like you were saying you never heard of us you put the cd on well us on the other end are like oh my god i hope those cds get to these guys desks and oh my god i hope they like it and, oh my god i hope they write about it yeah uh, so that that's where we were at that time and so you know going out and doing festival tours uh doing Ozfest and going out with slipknot or pretty insanely exciting times especially let me not do too much math but i was a much younger person who uh <laughs> who uh you know a kid in the candy store kind of stuff it was uh it was pretty fun it's a great candy to store to just throw <laughs> a little bit more math in there um is this going to be the first time that you guys have been back together in a room and playing as well? Like, is this going to be like the rehearsals <laughs> and this stream is going to be the first time the members yes. of Lamb of God have all been in the same room again? Yes. I, I, although I have seen uh, members of the band in public uh, <laughs> maintaining social distancing yeah, of course, and, of course. and doing nothing musical, uh, this will be the first time that we will be in this, all of us in the same room making music since uh, I, Scott, it was it was valentine's day i think was our last show man well i'm not sure love will be in the air but metal will be in the air <laughs> september the 18th and the 25th the self-titled happening on the 18th ashes of the wake in full in the, on the 25th 15 dollars for each show but 20 dollars for the two you know it makes sense buy your tickets lamb dash of dash god.com John, thanks so much for your time. I cannot wait for these streams. And thank you for giving my mates back home in Bleed From Within a leg back for the pre-show. <laughs> Them and yeah, White Chip are going to be opening. Yes, sir. No, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You are an absolute professional. That was one of the best segues I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> well done. Thanks, man. Don't forget to like and share this video and join me on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday and Saturday for guest hangouts, new music votes, tier lists, band specific competitions, weekly merch roundups and much, much more. That's twitch.tv forward slash mosh talks. Find the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on notfest.com for all of the latest news, features and much more from the worlds of rock, metal and beyond.